All right, part two from 2 2 day one. And we just got to finish up these last couple sample problems. Now, there is something I did not purposely talk about on example five because I didn't want to confuse you. There's enough going on here. But I want you to know that there's an invisible one here, an invisible one here, and an invisible one here. Is that an odd number or an even? Odd. Odd number or an even? Odd. Odd number or an even? Odd. What did I highlight over here? Odd multiplicity goes through the x-axis. That's what this is talking about. See, at each one of these zeros, it goes through the x-axis. That's a huge clue. So what is this even multiplicity all about? Well, that's going to happen on this next problem, so pay attention to that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find our zeros. Well, we look at this and we go, aha, it's a 2. But notice this right here. That is our even multiplicity. I'm going to abbreviate. What does that mean? It means it's going to bounce. It's going to bounce off the x-axis as opposed to going through it. That's a huge, huge clue, but very subtle. But now we're going to say, all right, 2. So 2 comma 0. And then we've got, that's actually going to be a 1, because 1 minus 1 is 0. And then this would be a negative 1, so negative 1, 0. So the first thing we have to do is plot these points just to get our bearings straight. So there's 2, 0, there's 1, 0, and there's negative 1, 0. So we've got some work to do. So the next thing we've got to do is say, hey, is this a cubic or is it a quartic? Again, just concentrate on the x's. So here's x squared times negative x. Did you hear me emphasize that? Would be negative x cubed times x would be negative x to the fourth. So it's a quartic, but a is less than zero, which tells me it's going to be a mal round. Uh, again, I'm sorry. But it is a memory tool. That's all I'm doing it. That's the only reason I'm doing that, okay? So, I do know that on the outside edges, they're going to go, both go down. So, I know here it's going to go down. Here it's going to go down. Now, the question is, how do I make my letter M? Here come the clues. Are you ready? Remember the even multiplicity applied to this zero, which means it's going to bounce off to zero, which means it goes up. It doesn't go through. And it goes down. Now the question is, in between here, does it go like way down and then up? Does it barely down and go up? We don't know. So here's how we have to fix that problem. What's the halfway point there? Well, if this is 1 and that's 2, that little pink spot is saying let x equal 1.5 and plug the darn thing in. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to say, all right, 1.5 minus 2 squared. And then 1 minus 1.5. And then we're going to go 1.5 plus 1. Remember, this equals y. We just got to do some number crunching now. So this is negative 0.5 squared times negative 0.5 times 2.5. So once again, I'm going to get out my calculator. And so here we go. I'm just going to hammer this stuff out. So I'm going to go, I know a negative times a negative is positive. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 is just 0 0.25. But I'm going to show it on my calculator. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.5, enter, 0 0.25 times, I'm going to ignore that negative for a second, 0 0.5, enter, and then times 2.5, enter. And that's 0.3125. Interesting. But remember, this negative become positive because of that, but that negative didn't disappear, so that means I need to go down just a smidge. So that means maybe like this one looked pretty good. So it goes up, bounces, goes up. Now wait, see that zero right there is one. This one comes from here, which is odd multiplicity, which means it's going to go through here. So it's going to go up and down, but it might be flatter. It might be way higher. I don't know. This is where we have to use our noggins. 
If this is 1 and this is negative 1, we know that that is 0. So that right there is saying let x be 0 to find out how just perfect, uh, you know, just be precise. So I'll show my work over here. This is going to be a lot easier plugging in zeros. I can just do this in our head. So y equals, well, that'd just be negative 2 squared, which is 4. 1 minus 0 is just 1. 0 plus 1 is another 1. So y equals 4 if x is 0. You see that? So then I go up to 0, 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's going to be more of this angle, and then down. And there it is. And let's, let's look at something. How many bumps are there? One, two, three. Is that correct? Yeah. A cortic has three bumps. All right. And this one gets a lot easier, these last two. So this says, describe the end behavior. Um, and this says... As x is approaching infinity, which means move left, left to right. This is says this one says as x approaches negative infinity, so this means right to left. So what they all all they want you to do is rearrange this so you can see negative two x cubed plus three x squared plus four x minus three. And here's your general truth. Number one, it's a cubic. That's clue number one. It's a cubic. We know that. And here, we know that A is negative, so it's less than zero. So we take these two clues. And for a while, it might not come natural, but it's going to look like this. In other words, it's going to look like this. So the problem is asking us, travel along it left to right. So I go this way. What's the limit? Well, the limit is actually asking about the range, which means concentrate on your Ys, which means how low or how high does it go? Well, it's going down to negative infinity. So the answer to this one for this problem is negative infinity. Now, what about this guy? Well, this says move right to left. Because of that little tiny um, instruction there. It says x approaches negative infinity. So that means move right to left. So we start here. We travel along this graph. And look, it's going up. So the answer to this problem would be infinity. Based on that drawing. Let's go to this one. Last one, guys. Here's my x to the fourth. I know that's the one that needs to start. And then all the rest doesn't really matter because this is a cortic, which means it's going to be like this, or it's going to be like this. See, this is easy to memorize. Winner or a moron. So, because this is a 1, that means A is positive, and it's a cortic, which is going to be like this, not this. So, if I move uh, left to right, Along this roller coaster, I'm ultimately going to go up to infinity. But if I move right to left along this roller coaster, it's also going to go up to infinity. So for this one, both of my limits are positive infinity.